Okay, so let me explain about fair housing. Fair housing is not something that you wanna mess around with when you own rental properties. Here's the deal. The Fair Housing Act was created in 1968, okay? And it was amended in 1988 and they added the familial status and disability. Now, it was developed to protect and to promote equal access to apartments, houses, mortgage loans, and insurance policies for all residents of the nation. So the seven protected classes are race, color, religion, sex, disability, national origin, and familial status. Now, don't you think that if you own rental properties that you should know these seven, especially if you're self-managing these properties, this is where people get in trouble because they don't know the laws, they don't know what they should say, and more importantly, what they should not say. Now, the Federal Fair Housing Act provides if the state has, or city has adopted similar fair housing laws, the fair housing complaints will be referred to the city or state for enforcement. But make no mistake, this is a federal law. And the rental housing market has the highest investigated um, and is the highest yield of complaints of all types of, of uh, discrimination. And actually, rental discrimination outweighs any other type of housing discrimination in the United States. The number one fair housing uh, suit that's filed is on disability. So it's things like PTSD, alcoholism, mental illness, things that you can't see, this is considered a disability. So you really, really gotta be careful about what you say and what you don't say because this is very, very serious. So again, and we haven't even gotten into the emotional support animal thing, but this is just the seven protected classes that you really need to know. And if you hire a company, you better make sure they know it because it will trickle back to you at the end of the day. So again, remember, this is your business. You're the CEO of that business. Even if it's one rental property, you've got to know these seven protected classes. So learn them. Think about them. Every time you're going to rent a property, I would reassess them. I'd relearn them to make sure. And if you hire someone, make sure they know them. If they can't spit them off and they're the ones that are taking the calls and leasing your property, then I would be very, uh, I'd think twice about hiring them. Just my opinion. So hopefully this helps. Go ahead and go to my website, steverosenberg.com. You can see more information like this, as well as my YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe. Talk to you later.